In first lecture of thermodynamics, we have learnt the basics of thermodynamics, that is definition of thermodynamics. Now, we will learn differential equations of thermodynamics. So, same graph we have to draw that same square. First is smart people, very talented. This is your first square. Then Hema is good and unique. Ema is good and unique. Ema is good and unique. So this is the way to learn. This is second square. Now let's take an example. We are making differential equation of H. So dH is equal to you know h is a natural function of s and p so in this way these are two functions of h now diagonally we go to s from t and to p we go from v both arrows goes up so sine is again positive same rules are applied now dh is equal to t ds plus v dp so this is differential equation for h so dh equal to t ds plus v dp as both arrows goes up so sign is positive now we can write equation dou h upon dou s at constant p so that is equal to t right because dou h upon dou s at constant p this dp becomes zero so v dp is zero second equation is the dou h upon dou p yes at constant s that is equal to v so this is the equation for d now next is g so g is a natural function of p and t so to go to p diagonally we go from v to go to t diagonally we go from s now d g is equal to yes v to p as we go from v to p we go up so it is v d p and when we go from s to t we go down so it is minus s d p we go up then it is plus sign we go down so it is minus sign so this is the equation differential equation for d g now dou g by dou p at constant t is equal to v and do g divided by differentiation with respect to p differentiation with respect to t at constant p is equal to minus s now u u is a natural function of s and t so to go to s we go diagonally from t and to go to v we go diagonally to from p to v so d u 
is equal to yes t ds and it has positive sign because we go up and when we go from p to v we follow the arrow p to v we go down so it is minus p d v now do u over to s at constant v is equal to t and do u upon v at constant s is equal to minus p again for a so a is a natural function of v and t so to come to v we go from p and to t we go from s and both arrows are downwards so da is equal to minus s dt and minus p d both are down do a to do t at constant v is equal to minus s and do a to do v at constant t when t is constant this part is zero so it become minus t right thank you very much for watching this video do subscribe my channel for more videos like this thank you